The local team of archaeologists that put the Philippines on the map of pre-human history says their work is far from done. After rocking long-held assumptions in evolution, the group is now rearing to go back and dig some more. Joey Francisco has more. Of another ancient human species in Cagayan's Callao Cave has sparked hope among researchers that piecing the evolution puzzle has gone a step further. Last week, archaeologists presented fossil bones and teeth of at least three individuals dating back to as much as 50 to 67,000 years ago. These remains of prehistoric natives is now known as Homo luzonensis. Researchers who made the groundbreaking find were led by UP archaeologist Armand Mijares. The team estimates Homo luzonensis to be small in size, bearing a mix of archaic Australopithecus features and more modern traits closer to Homo sapiens. However, Mijares points out in an interview with the chiefs that this ancient human species is not a direct ancestor of the present-day man. They could be cousins because they're both members of the Homo uh, genus. No? The Florence's features are different from Lusonensis. Uh, the teeth are actually more robust for uh, Florencensis, more, more gracile for Lusonensis. Even the Florencensis, I was saying later on, like before, the, the teeth are the premolars are small and then you have big. The, Florence, the Florencensis has that normal curve. Mihare says these new discoveries may spur historians and archaeologists to work hand in hand to revisit long standing knowledge on our ancestry. National Museum Archaeology Division head Eusebio Dizon also debunked some historical facts on the country's early inhabitants. With these new scientific findings linking us to our past, researchers say there is more to come in terms of knowledge on the human species. This is like a dream come true in science. We are all excited. At saka, I am happy in my lifetime. Nakita ko pa ito. The work is also far from over. The team led by Mijares plans to return to Callao for more digging. Mijares adds they will be needing more extra funding and more volunteers to help them find more proof about Homo luzonensis. Jovi Francisco, we are One News.